Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got something super, super special to share with you guys. I cannot wait to get into this. I've only opened it up to here. I haven't actually handled it yet. This is a new personal acquisition, uh, something that caught my eye. Um, and uh, you can um, you can find these, you probably know, at Polish Custom Knives. I will link them right down in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex and on TikTok at The underscore Metal underscore Complex. Um, I'd like to say it's been a bit, but the truth is, is that I've become essentially addicted to um like specifically herman i was just going to tear this off um but what we have what we have here is a a real special one i don't normally go after stuff like this but i uh, i have a a real this is just a little show and tell today guys because i've already reviewed this model i have a full review of it and what you're watching is simply an unboxing um but i have a weakness for not only these knives, but like specifically knives that are made this way. Uh, this is a micro sting. Gosh, I love these new. This is the first time I've seen the wooden box with the card. Depending on what versions you get, uh, it'll either have a wooden box, like anywhere from the half dress to the full dress stuff will have a wooden box. And the standard stuff will come in a pouch, but they also come with these um, new authenticity cards, these metal ones. So this has an Alema Damax blade, which <laughs> that buckles that buckles the old knees there, guys. Uh, I, I love these wild, more exotic, um, you know, uh, blade compositions. Um, but we have titanium and timascus, and yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of special stuff here. So I think we should go ahead and take a look. Oh, we got another layer here, adding to the uh, the suspense. Oh boy, oh boy, would you look at that! Let's get that little guy out of there. Oh, I don't normally go after the smaller ones, but this one looks so... Oh, my gosh. The Timascus. Oh, my gosh. It's like a magenta. Almost like a... It looks like cotton candy. Oh, my gosh. So, we have Timascus clip. Very high-polished tumbled frame. Timascus backspacer. Uh, and, of course, that big Timascus inlay there. Very beautiful. I don't... I don't have another one with specifically this type of inlay. And then, oh, the beautiful, beautiful layered Damax blade there. So, so beautiful. I'm gonna get have to get that scooched out of there uh, after the video. But for now, what I really wanna do is highlight these beautiful layers. Look at this. So I have another one. I have another uh, Herman knife with this Alama Damax. And I can say that this, like the finish work on the on the uh, Damax here, is uh, absolutely superior to the old one that I have. And the old one was great, um, but what it tells me is that they're getting better uh, with this. If you're looking at this and you're wondering what is it, um, it actually is layered, or it's like a special type of pattern welded Damascus. Please don't give me the history on Woots. I I, I know that you know by calling it Damascus. Right, if I guess if you want to go down that route is technically incorrect because Woots is the only real whatever I know about it to simplify it. This is modern, you know, Damascus, <laughs> and it's a specific type. Um, but it is in fact layered and not just a surface finish, and it is not just layered, uh, or I'm sorry, lasered into the surface of the blade. Um, but uh, yeah, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. There, I imagine they. I'm not sure how they get down because this is, you can actually feel it. Um, this is a, a textured enough that you can feel it. And yeah, you know, technically that would slow you down in a cut a little bit, but I don't know if it's obvious to you guys, I, I did not pick this up, you know, to, to maximize the utility of my carry experience. I picked this up because I am a collector and I absolutely loved uh, how this textured inlay looked. I think this is so cool. This sort of half, like where they do a titanium fra frame and then they do 
um, an inlay of, of you know various materials. They do carbon fiber. I've seen them do a whole bunch of different stuff. Sometimes it's just titanium that's anodized a different color. But these little accents here. You know, I have a bunch of Herman knives that are full Timascus, and those are really cool. Um, but sometimes I just like the the contrast of the uh, you know the various materials and the frame. I am a big fan of this high polished finish that they're doing on this particular one. You know, I've got other Herman knives that just have sort of a basic like a concrete or like a blasted finish. I've seen a bunch of different finishes on the blades. Um, I've seen, you know, almost like an orange peel texturing. Um, I've seen, you know, a high polished tumble, uh, tumbled finish. I've seen like a more of a concrete, like almost like an acid wash. Um, so there's a lot of different things that they do. One thing is for certain though, as somebody who has owned so many Herman knives and handled so many different Herman knives, every different version of this, uh, these knives that I have handled, they're all unique, um, which is a real, that's a big indicator when it comes to semi and, and uh, I'm sorry, custom and semi-custom cutlery um, that really stands out. The other thing that is always the case is that the quality is on point. Um, these micro stings have a lighter detent in my experience than like the stings or the slims, the ish stars, um, the dragonflies, right? Um, but this one's a little bit heavier than the first one that I picked. Actually, this is now the third micro sting that I've owned um, because I have a plain one and then I had a full Timascus one with the black, um, the black Damascus or like the DLC Damascus. But this one's got a slightly heavier detent, which is actually preferable to me. These new ones come with uh, a pivot tool, which is actually made um, by Herman Knives, uh, which is cool. And I, I remember the reason they told me that they started to do that is they want people to be able to very carefully micro adjust the pivot because the ball bearings are so hard. I, I forget what they call them. They're so hard, they can definitely crack if you over tighten them, which you shouldn't be over tightening any pocket knife anyway. But the style of driver here should allow you to better micro or, or just adjust your knife in a way that it gives you a lot more control. I really wanted to give you guys uh, a ton of like close ups here because I knew that this was just going to be absolutely spectacular. So let's look at the pocket clip there. God, the texture on the pocket clip. Um, this, uh, this Timascus like basically just glows. I am amazed at how many different colors they're able to bring out in Timascus. You know, for the longest time, as somebody who, you know, sort of gravitates towards um, these types of materials, for the longest time, Timascus just always looked the same. Right, I understand it. It depends on the grades and how they anod, you know, the anodizing rate or whatever. But um, a lot of Timascus just was that dominant blue with subtle hints of orange and you know magenta in there. And Herman Knives seems to be able to bring out a wider variety of colors um, with their stuff. And uh, you know, a lot of the Timascus that I have from them is a prime example of that. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. I am very happy to add this one to my collection. Really, really nice to see that the Damax has a much higher polish to the finish there. I think that is absolutely stunning, and I'm a huge fan of that. That is going to be it for today's quick little unboxing and show and tell. <laughs> they really, they really make you feel good about uh, picking up. Uh, some of the nicer stuff like the presentation box and everything of course I'll keep the box separate and this will actually end up in my uh, Pelican case um, But uh, really satisfied with this one very cool love the new metal cards I think that's way better than the old paper uh, COAs it just uh, it, it just leaves a better uh, feeling right something that's um more uh, durable over the long <laughs> the long run, right? Um, that's going to be it for today, though. Again, Polish Custom Knives linked in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.